Hello everybody, in the next five minutes, I'm going to share with you some information about our bestseller program called Emotional and Psychological Realities of Aging. This is a two and a half day program which is developed on the needs of the aging population which has not been covered much by the causes that are available. We see a lot of advice on how to, how to age physically. Um, we also see a lot of advice on managing finances. But the program that I'm going to talk to you about is the emotional and psychological realities of aging. This program has been divided into four sections. And the first section, we will be looking at alone again. Okay, For many people, aging is done as a very personal journey. And some of us have been alone all our lives. Some of us uh, have walked with a partner, but the partner walked away. And some of us actually lost our partners, maybe through death or disease. So coping alone and facing the world all over again requires certain skill sets and certain support. How can we help ourselves to face the challenge of being alone again? Okay, the second thing we are going to work with is the word renaissance. Renaissance means a second flowering. And this is a concept we want to introduce to our peers, that you don't just degenerate and degenerate and die. You can actually re-flower. You can rebuild yourself. You can remake yourself. You can recreate yourself to be able to respond to the world around you. Because just as the world around us is changing, each of us needs to change. We write our own script, we write our own life story, coping with the realities around us. So this is a very important topic because we learn how to uh, allow each new day bring new opportunities and each stage of aging should be a beautiful one, as beautiful as we can manage to be. And this brings me to the third topic, which is called the beauty within. Okay, now, true enough, all around you, you see advertisements on how to be beautiful. Um, but we are actually going to focus on the beauty within because there is something that no one can take away from you. There is something that time cannot rob you of. And that is the contributions, the joy and all that you have done for people around you. Some old people become more and more precious with time because they build up beautiful memories and they build up the lives of people around them. And this is the kind of contributions that we make. And as we age, we learn to cope with situations with beauty. And this is really very, very important because there is so much ugliness and so much uh, bad news involved in aging. And yet, we learn how to overcome the ugly with the beautiful within us. Finally, we're going to look at the topic relationships. Many of us will find that as we get older, the people around us also grow. Children grow and they leave the nest and they become parents and they have their own children. But what about the relationship between us and each of these people? All of a sudden, we find that we can become Martians to them. We can become strangers and uh, we can be very alienated if we do not learn to relate to the realities of the people around us also growing. So this program, uh, which is two and a half days, is going to address four very important topics. And we're going to do it as a group, supporting one another, learning and growing together. So I hope you will sign up for a very important step in the process of aging beautifully and facing difficult realities in a very positive and beautiful way. Thank you.